So as you got started with the coaching um, and some of those first worksheets were all about being like self-aware, being spiritually aware, um, being emotionally aware. Um, tell me about that, that process. Yeah, for me, that whole the get your mind right, that was um, breakthrough for me um, because just, just in our conversations and the, the worksheets, um, just bringing my emotions to the, to the forefront, to, to really just become aware of um, like recognizing my patterns, um, my emotions, seeing how certain incidents um, were triggering to me. Um, and, and really things that are just like basic that you think, okay, you know, you should already know this. Um, for me, there, there were areas that I really needed to work on, such as um, not having to respond <laughs> in that moment. I, I remember that being a big, uh, like, like a light bulb, like, oh, I don't have to respond if I'm upset. Like I, I could take some time. I could um, let my emotions kind of calm down. I'm, a, I'm an emotional person. I'm a passionate person, if you will. And so um, a lot of times when, when I feel that something's off, like I feel like I have to address it right away because um, I'm an initiator too. And so just, just knowing that, you know, I don't have to do that. And, and I'm still working on that. But I remember <laughs> there were a couple um, opportunities to practice it around that mm -hmm. time. And, and I actually, you know, stepped back and waited a little bit. And um, the response uh, and the way that it was addressed just went so much um, more smoother mm -hmm. than before. And so that, that was huge, um, recognizing the rabbit hole that that I go down sometimes in my thoughts, um, just just that cycle of doing the same thoughts, the same thoughts, which will then affect my behavior for the day, and just really seeing how like it's all connected. Um, mm -hmm. it, that that, that it was huge for me. Like I, I gotta say, those the, that first month or two was just like breakthrough. It it was definitely um, what I needed to kind of jolt me back into place. Um, and just, uh, I had a note here from earlier, realizing that my emotions um, were not fully submitted to the Holy Spirit. Mm. And, uh, and that, that was key. So the worksheets, like the self-awareness scale, um, the spiritual awareness, it was just helpful to see um, all of it kind of written out and me having to figure out where, where I fell into each one of those statements. Mm -hmm. um, simple statements, you know, but, but just being able to see like, oh, wait a minute, that is me, or that's not me, or at least understanding my perspective of me, because, you know, right. how I view me may not even really be how someone else views me, but just becoming aware of, of, I guess, myself, you know, that, that self-awareness, like you said, so for me, that, that was probably the, the biggest breakthrough, and, and I really, I needed that, like, to kind of just, um, realign me and just mm -hmm. put things back in this perspective um, in a way that wasn't so overwhelming that that mm -hmm. I could really um, work through it yeah you got plenty of wins mm -hmm. during that time like <laughs> you, you know like anybody has watched my stuff previously you know that I'm all about the wins so I'm always asking my clients about their wins and Amy got plenty of wins during that time at times where she, like she's like she said she would have been more emotional about something or didn't allow the Holy Spirit to um, take number one spot I mean, whatever you want to call it but then in those moments she could really tell like oh it, it does work you know <laughs> 